Hello and welcome back to Dredge. Yep, it's me and Dredge again. Moving the microphone. So on the day this releases, I will... Basically the moment I get home, I'm going to try and record an episode of Cassette Beasts. Um, because this episode should be coming out the same day it's coming out. Now here's the issue. I actually don't recall how many days it's been since I've seen the... I did go back and check. I now know vaguely what the snake mackerel looks like. Um, and in that way, I know where to catch it, but the problem is it's not where I'm going, and I also don't remember how long it's been since I saw the dude. So that's, that's an issue. Like, how long has it been since I started this quest, you know? So, either way, I have what I need to catch the fish that I need. I don't know what they're doing down there. Uh, I have what I need to catch the fish. Problem is, it lives over in the Devil's Spine. I don't know where what's there. Uh, I also know it's not the place I'm supposed to go next. So, it is the Devil's Spine, right? Let me just... Or anything else. Yeah, let's actually sort it by double spine. But it's, yeah, it's this thing, isn't it? It's got day and night, rod and troll, and it's a coastal fish. So I can catch it, you know? I, I can catch it. Sorry, I'm just I'm I'm making making extra sure because I just Yeah, yeah, okay. Also, there's apparently certain fish that can only be caught with like troll nets and stuff. This one's I guess in the marrows, but yeah, I learned that while I was looking for the snake mackerel. So yes. It's a coastal fish <coughs> from the Devil's Spine, and I think I'm just, I'm gonna have to go there. Um. Because <laughs> this guy is going to die if I don't get him what he needs. So, I think I've just gotta go there. Oh. Um, I didn't quite think I was dredging. I thought there was a message in a bottle there. Now, okay, something's gold here. Oh, I wonder if this is the belt buckle for that dude from Little Mary. Whoops, don't do that. Um. Bronze belt buckle. Yes, okay. I need that for that dude from Little Mary. But either way, I've got to go to the Devil's Spine. I've got to go quickly. In fact, it's morning, so let's deploy some haste. No, it won't be. I, I'm nowhere near the double spine. I can't fill up my cargo. Um, but yeah, it's. <laughs> like I said, I should be able to catch this thing. <laughs> I just, you know. It's nowhere near where I needed to go. I needed to go to Stellar Basin next, didn't I? Um. It's a good thing time only passes when, like, I'm moving and stuff. Uh, okay. I'm approaching something that's just outside of Devil's Spine, but... I, I don't quite know if this counts as the area. Devil's Spine. Oh, well, maybe. Well, let's look at the fish in this area just in case. This might be it here. F. Oh, that's Hadel, so definitely not. Yeah, it seems like... Because the first two mackerels are also coastal. There we are. There we are. Snake mackerel. Hello. Slender with dull black eyes and a long snout. Clean your jaw. Fold long shift. Okay. Turning right the fuck around, and I'm going back to that starving guy. 
Um, he's He's, he's on these islands near Blackstone, right? Right? I might be losing my mind a little. <laughs> Me personally, not my character. My character is fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think he's on the islands near Blackstone. If he's already dead, because that was another night. That was another night with no mackerels. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember how many days it's been since I last gave him mackerel. <laughs> They're so fucking mackerel. Like, I should not be able to, like, have a conversation with them while we're talking downstairs. Not seeing the dude. I seem to recall him being. being somewhere near here. Okay, not there, obviously. But he's on he's on these islands, right? It was two islands close together. And he's oh fuck. Oh god, it was just the tiger mackle. If I had lost the snake, Miracle, I would have lost my fucking mind. Oh, thank god. Thank god, thank god. If I had lost my snake, Miracle, I would have cried. Uh, the fish has barely left her hands before splintered nails begin peeling into its scales. The heart is extracted and devoured. Why are your nails splintered? Are you okay, sir? Do you need some, like, do you need me to go and get, like, a pedicure kit from Great Amaro? The head tilts upward to look at you. A book from inside the robe and hang it, hand it over. Hunger, save it. Now. Cross their arms and appear to fall into a deep sleep. Well, good for you, getting some rest. Because <laughs> I barely got any fucking rest because of your stupid goddamn mackerel feather. <laughs> okay, okay. I want to try to get to Greater Mirror because I've got a bunch of shit to sell. Maybe I shouldn't haste. Well, I seem to be panicking not a lot, but like severely. It's weird. It's telling me both things. Like the eye's not very open, but it's doing the the lines which tell me to be concerned. God damn it. Sorry, for some reason my foot hurts a lot, and I'm not quite sure why. I've been having trouble trouble with this foot, like, I had trouble with this foot a while ago, I had to, well, I don't quite think that I had to go to the emergency room, but I was taken to the emergency room for it, and, uh, got, got treatment, but now it's just, like, the back of it, and it's like, what, you weren't even the same part that was hurting. Why are you like this? <laughs> yep, uh, okay, ship right, hi. Sure, check out specs before you buy this stuff. Once it's installed, no refund. But you will buy it back. Right, I should actually go to the Riddler of the Marrows. I should also do some more training, to be honest. Um, but no, I've gotta, I've gotta get to Stellar Basin. Oh, you know what I also need to do? I need to go to Little Marrow. I need to give this fucking belt buckle over. Here. I haven't been here in a while, so is that a that can't be a new fish in this area. No, it's just the cod. I guess I never realized like how large they look underwater. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's still a basin next, right? I can always check my um Everything okay? Yep, give me the belt buckle. Give the belt buckle to the man. This is his. Oh, thank you, bless you. You've returned it to me. Please take this. I've not any money to pay you, but this might hold some value for you. Yes, it does. Thank you so much, sir. Sorry. It's just a wound to heal. Like, I think there's a split there. 
which happens to me often. I don't quite know why. Um, I kind of want to get that. Actually, no. It seems like... Yeah, but... Oh, if I were to get something like the refined outboard engine or the twin prop engine... Actually, if I were to get this... I could fit three of those in. And that would just be more and more chances for me not to lose my, um... My fucking... Um, thing. I don't know what I need next, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, like, go there. <laughs> Ooh. Interesting. I can't actually fit that anywhere, though. So why don't I head off the Stellar Basin now? The place I'm actually supposed to go. I was expecting to have like a struggle to get that fucking snake rifle. I'm so glad I did. Okay, I didn't stop there. But I guess my guy forgot uh, that he was driving the boat. you yeah probably but I should just I should go to Stellar Basin I should go to Stellar Basin and if I can dredge stuff on the way I should do that but yeah I'll rely on my my net for uh, my net for stop doing that Um, rely on my net for fish because I I'm assuming Stellar Basin is going to be like you know all of these places where I'll have one place for other shit and I'll okay <laughs> um, one place for other shit and one place to like like a bunch of places to do other shit and one place to sell fish is what I was trying to say but then didn't the many many times I attempted to say okay Keep hitting this. It's gonna take up time. Sparkle. This might be the last wood I get out of this. Right. Oh. Getting a scam call. <laughs> I'm not one of those people that answers them on video and uh, trolls this scammers. I'm not nearly funny enough to do that. Um, oh, hell. Okay. Well, I didn't quite realize, um, you in there. See, I can't get rid of a re You know what? Fuck this basic crab pot. Fuck this basic crab pot. <laughs> it makes everything so much easier when you're just like, I can buy another one of this. Um, okay. Gotta get to Stellar Basin. Gotta get to somewhere in Stellar Basin today. I'm heading the right way, more or less. Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna need to check and be like, am I going the right way a couple of times? Because I'm just not very smart and I've never been good at navigation in, in 3D environments and games. It's just, it just ain't my thing. Oh, I'm insane enough for one of these, huh? Oh, screw you, weird eyes. Hiya. Oh, you're not a rock at all. You're a fucked up jelly. Well, I've got some around jellyfish now. Uh, you're a fucked up jellyfish. That is so wonderful. Wow. Oh, this place is really colorful, actually. Oh, that looks bad. Hang on. Those look like a problem, maybe? I'm not gonna go there, actually. <laughs> not quite sure what I just saw there. I don't think I liked it. 
That's nice. I don't really have room for that much of this. Oh, that's a piece of the map. I'm surprised I'm looking around a little bit. Okay, well, I guess I'll be finding map pieces here. That's kind of neat. Alright, I'm going insane. I need to find a place to fucking dock. I swore those jellyfish were like insanity things. Okay. I see lights over there. Something. Something came out of the water there. Stone trembles before you, unknown symbols glow from within. Let's go mad. Let's just lose our fucking minds. A sudden chill rushes through the mirror of your bones, searching for your arm, your neck, your vision, and your mind. The green glimmer of an aurora blooms in the night sky above the resort. This and boom shakes the thatch, shrews and rouses dreamers from their sleep. Oh, I love being insane. <coughs> the waters withdraw, exposing the coral to the warm air. Fused creatures chitter and seek out the hiding places. Moments later, the waters return, crashing, seething, sweeping souls out to sea. Oh, that's what happened here. Well... Sounds lovely. Uh, I will be finding a place to sleep, though. If that's alright, instead of dying a watery death, I think I'm gonna just find some place to sleep for the night. And that looks like it's a place to sleep over there. Oh, wow, this place is pretty at night. Is there a traveling mountain? Oh, it's the same traveling merchant. Hi. Wow, okay. Great to see you. I guess. Mm. I have fish, right? Yeah. Firefly squid, aurora jellyfish. A few predators, a species is spreading them. Tiny sparkling squid spends most of his time in the deep ocean, rising to the surface as it nears the end of its life. Interesting. That's all neat. I'm gonna sell you. <laughs> right, storage to storage. Just shove everything in storage. Wonderful. Lovely. I need to rest. <laughs> Thanks to the retired whaler Dinkfell. Oh yeah. I'm carrying a small stock of spa spacked explosives. Spacked? Um, it's a wonderful word that I've created. Um, I don't know what it means yet, but I'm sure it means something. Um, floating dock is what I needed. <laughs> mm, that could give me room for a jet engine. Oh, cargo spaces. Fucking hell, I need cargo spaces. Are you shitting me? Oh, fuck. I just spent all my money. Well, okay. Save enough for the cargo spaces. More space to hold rods means that I can hold more of the weird ones, you know? Oh wow, I have exactly enough stuff, I think. Oh no, I've got an extra... That was weird. I've got an extra cloth. And of course, I don't need cloth for this. So I've just got an extra cloth. Okay. Well... That was weird. Okay. Oh, I think this is a snake mackerel. Mackerel. If you will. You, you shouldn't. So. Oh, this is a barracuda. Holy shit, that's a big one. I might literally have to return to the... Not dusty pontoon now. Starlight. Put you like this. Yeah, I can fit another bear good in. Weird. Oh, and I got a red snapper. Hello, red snapper. Please purchase oh. this fish. 
Alright. What else is there to dock? There's a place to dock. Oh. Oh, that's probably for deep water fish. Well, I can see them, so they're probably not deep water fish. What are you? Yeah. Savage Barracuda. Oh, I didn't get the trophy because I got a fucked up one. Oh no, this is a trophy, Savage Barracuda. Hell yeah. Thrashes are about ruinously, jaws snapping and tearing its own flesh apart. A body sundered by ravenous hatred. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Love that for you. I'm gonna, I wanna see how much this is fucking worth. I've never caught a trophy fucked up fish. Oh, I bet this is a red snapper. Oh, <laughs> finished before I could get to it. Why'd I do that? Um, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna be spending tonight at the fucking dusty starlet pontoon. Oh, oh, it's depleted because of um, the time. I'm guessing those are day fish. Because the night fish are gorgeous. Look at you all. You're so shiny. Anyways, hi, by these fish. Not everything I've got is totally fresh. I think I have enough for... Uh, not the shipyard. <laughs> for the cargo spaces? For the cargo spaces. Yes! The new rods are good, but I haven't seen anything that I need to catch in this area that's, like, new. You know, that's like, oh, I can't catch this. So I don't know what I what I need to research next also. Because what I, what I really do need to research is stuff I can't already get. Oh. Why am I moving? That was weird. Um, okay. Yeah, there's another place with a black dot up here. Which means it's another place I can... Oh my god, there's so much insanity around here. It's just a coral reef, dude. It's okay. You'll be alright. Is it Firefly Squid? What do your aberrations look like? Bad? Probably bad, because you're a squid. And squid just always get the short end of the stick in these things. Now, what would squid ever do to you, H.P. Lovecraft? Don't tell me. Don't tell me, actually. I don't think I want to know. Yeah, this one's got some, some fucked up in it. Give me something fucked up. No, don't give me these normie firefly squid. Give me something fucked up and disturbing. For God's sake, am I gonna have to fish these guys just until there's none of them? I think I am. Because it's got the glow. Oh, I... Oh. Yeah, I bet it's the radiant squid. Ooh. And it is a trophy. Speaking from the depths below, a glimpse of a new sky. All right. You know, I didn't know I was a poet as well as a fisherman. Or maybe I'm just insane. That works too. Nope. That looks like an insanity spiral. That also looks like insanity. Um, this all sort of looks like insanity. Okay, this is just oceanic. I know what oceanic is. Oh god. What what was that? Well, okay. This is the place I guess I'm resting today. Researcher. At the old fortress. Interesting choice. Oh uh, hello. I wasn't expecting visitors. Who are you? I just sort of oh shit, I didn't plug in the fucking computer. Seems like it's okay. 
I'm so dumb. I don't know why I keep forgetting to do this. Fisherman. Ah, oh, yeah, I thought you had the look. Are there fishermen all the way out here? Strange. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you all the same. I have not seen another soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help if you had the time. I can't believe I forgot to do that. Yeah, what do you need help with? I need help collecting samples to study. I was originally posted at the research outpost on the interior interior of the basin, but uh, it was sort of attacked. <laughs> a large creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the outpost. Now it rests in the center of the basin. I just started with this voice because I was like lady scientist and just looking at her closer now, I think I picked the right voice. I fled here and I've been making do as best as I can, but I had to leave most of my equipment behind so now my research has come to a halt. Look at this list of specimens I need. Please drop them off here. You might need to experiment with different fishing techniques to collect all of them. Okay, one of them is the firefly squid. Probably not. That's a raw jellyfish. Coastal, coastal, shallow. They can all be caught with... Oh, that's a crab pot fish, but you can also catch it with rods. Okay. Uh, that one's trawl net only. Ooh, okay. Well, I've got your firefly squid, at least. Is there anything else? Tell me about yourself. Uh, okay, I don't think there's much to say. <laughs> this fucking half-insane fisherman stumbled into her lab and is like, Tell me about yourself. Tell me about the creature that attacked you. Tell me about your research. It's just fucking... I don't think there's much to say. I studied biological sciences at Iron Haven College. It was a struggle. There were no other female students in the department that year. Or the year before, or the year before that. It's hard not to feel like an outsider in an environment like that, you know? You probably don't. When I graduated, I managed to land a job at the Northern Biological Research Study, and then, well, I was posted here. By myself. I thought I would relish the peace and quiet, but I miss having company. I've always had someone, or at least a pet. Out here, it's just machines. So the creature attacked you. Well, I got the sense that it was attacking the research outpost itself, rather than me specifically. I suspect it was disturbed by some of my monitoring equipment. There were dozens of machines running there, all powered by a noisy generator. It was huge, larger than any other marine species I've studied. Attacked with tentacles, so I guess it's some sort of octopus, or squid, or, or an anemone. One of my research vessels was moored around the back of the station, so I managed to slip away in that while I was tearing apart the front. There's a lot of valuable data and equipment left there, but I'm not going back. I can't. I won't face it again. I wonder if that's that, that big thing that I vaguely noticed. <laughs> you know, is this anything else unusual? Now that you mention it, I've been so preoccupied with the attack and having to rebuild here, I'd almost forgotten. I found these letters from my sister. She'd sent them to me while I was studying before... Where is she? Searcher's quiet for a moment and stares off to the side. Anyway, I kept finding them amongst my papers. I don't remember packing them, but I, I must have. I started finding them more frequently. They turned over my collection nets in my sampling tubes. This is Julie's fucking sister. That's Julie's sister right there. Like, she's she's gotta be. Because, <laughs> like, I don't know what... What year it is... Compared to the year that was on those notes. But, like, the... the what she's described... That has to be... They were letters I'd never seen before. But they were in her writing. They were in her name. The, she's got to be related to the girl that died in, I'm assuming, who died in some sort of boat crash on the um, the ship, right? <laughs> or maybe this is an unrelated sister. They were saying things, talking about things that happened after she died. I can't explain it. Oh, okay. Take a look at the list. Okay. No, I'll be going now and having a good, a good night's sleep. Oh, uh, yeah, I need to rest a little longer than that. Okay, well, all right. So, 
I bet, I bet most of those are night fish, aren't they? Um, can I even fit that? I think that's a barracuda. Um, no, I probably can't fit that. All right, I need to get all the way back around to the Starlight Point. But I want to know, oh, I bet that's the old research station. I wonder if she's going to ask me to go there in a bit. Speaking of letters from Julie. Sixth, seventh March. It's your least we've seen, right? Because the other ones have been, what, in September? Like late in the year, though. I don't know specifically. I don't have that good of a memory. Yeah, you can fucking see. Those are tentacles, huh? And you know what? I think she's right. The way they're moving. What it occurs to me? I had all of the fucking specimens she wants. I had the Aurora jellyfish. Okay, that's abyssal. I had the Aurora jellyfish, didn't I? And I had the fucking... What's it called? The, the octopus. I had all three of them. Motherfucker. I don't know if this is gonna be anything special. I'm just gonna dredge it up. Uh, no. Broken spectacles. Not much use to anyone in this state. That feels... I think I'm gonna keep those just in case. You know? Oh, this is. Okay, I'm near it. I'm near it. So where's the dog? Maybe it's around on the other side. But yeah, anyways, the way those tendrils were moving, to me, doesn't seem like an octopus or anything. I think she might be right. I think that might be an anemone. Of course, I'm saying this. I'm not a marine biologist. So, like, I don't know. It's probably a squid or an octopus, because like I said earlier... Lovecrafty and anything, those things get the short end of the- Where the fuck is the dolphin? No, 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 don't drive directly into the fucking wall. I was trying to drive in a straight line there, but the game was like, no. I don't think you are. Oh, this place is gorgeous. I love it. Okay, so there's a dock near here. Oh! Hang on. This isn't a shipwreck. It's just a shipwreck near it. <laughs> okay. Can I research anything abyssal yet? No. Well, okay. <clears throat> I actually think that's a good rod to have, so I think I'm gonna research both of them. I think I can fit the versatile rod already. Yeah. Okay, and none of, none of these can catch abyssals, so. Which I guess that makes sense. I just, I don't know, I was hopeful. These rods all look cool, by the way. I wonder if I have to... I wonder if I have to unlock all the rods. Because this almost looks like it attaches to my dredging equipment. Kind of. Okay, generator. Null generator spread as it takes over. Alright. Good talk. Lab. Laboratories in ruins with equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? Uh, open the cupboards. Check the cupboards. Research part. Love that. You empty the cupboards. Inspect the equipment on the table. There's some strange looking prototype parts on the table, which you can't see any use for them right now. This side of the table, you find a hasty squad note. It reads, not safe. Expect retaliation imminently. Evacuating to fort. Retaliation from what now? Oh. Around the floor, you look around the floor. There are cracks in the base of the structure that grow to large gashes that you follow them around the walls. 
something extremely large and powerful created these holes. Just over reach your arm into one. Don't don't be reaching your arm into fucking holes in the walls. You insane man. Well, I guess I've got new research parts. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll put one into an, en into an engine. And I'll put one into a better crab pot. Efficient? I mean, not that... I, I don't really need any... Any better crab pots. Okay. So this is... This is fine, but I really do need to get to the Starlet Ponding. <laughs> I have so much shit in my inventory. Oh, fuck. I have so much shit in my inventory. I really should have cleared it out so I could have dredged that. <laughs> I've got a bunch of shit in my net. I actually wonder... Oh, I also have... The book I got from the fucking cultist. Um... Oh, 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 okay, I need to put that away, because that's, um, that's something I need to keep. Oh, nope, I'm going the wrong way. It's inside this. Not inside this, it's like, if I, am I pointed the right direction? I'm pointed the right direction now, okay. Stonehome's quietly. Yeah, this is the one that I got the vision from earlier. Fucking see giant tentacles. Maybe it is a squid. Or an octopus. No, yeah, I see suckers. Okay. It's not an anemone. I was kind of hoping it'd be an anemone. Those things are freaky. They're much freakier than like octopi or squid. Because, like, I think the thing is, like, octopi and squid are, like, decently intelligent creatures. So you can look at them and be like, okay, I know why you're making the decisions you're making, you know? You know, like, you're just a, you're just a, a dude at this point. <laughs> but in anemones, you're like, I don't know what the fuck is going on in there. They're so pretty. That's just so pretty. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to- oh, I've got a bunch of them. I'm gonna have to store one. It's gonna be disgusting by the time I get back to her. Yes. P period. End of sentence. Yes, it will be disgusting. Mm. I really should actually drop my crab pots around here. I've got a hardy one, and I've got the mouth of the deep. I think I should be fine for her. Oh, and also I did run into something, didn't I? Five more than, yeah, I think, actually, I think the five is much better. <laughs> she, yeah, she's gonna be so mad at me by the time this is done. But I really could not avoid whatever happened, probably, possibly. So, you know, just live with it, lady. And I think I can only catch slash troll the um, octopus at night, which is why I'm going out again. Eggs. I'm assuming that's my uh, that's my goal. That's where the freaking yeah I see suckers on that thing. There's no way it's not like an octopus or a squid. Damn it. I just like anemones, okay? They're weird. They're funky little dudes. So far not seeing anything I can... Did I just... I was about to say, so far not seeing anything I can fish with my rods. Wow. I'm so fucking stupid. I should just never speak. That's it. This is, this is becoming a commentary-free channel. Depleted? Oh, because it's morning. I was like, I, it was just... Well, okay, now I've got a fresh jellyfish. 
What are you? Dredging or... Ooh, what are you actually? Um, oh, the shadows are moving because time is passing. It's like, why the fuck are the shadows moving? Coral grouper, you're just a dude. Hi. Hi, friend. Uh, where do I stick you? Here we are. I guess I can only catch one. Oh, poor grouper. What's my space looking like? Yeah, I can I can dredge up one of these. Cause I need one of these and one metal, don't I? For the uh Whatever the next upgrade is. I literally don't remember. The the one upgrade that I don't have. Ooh, this is a red snapper, isn't it? And that's only two. Yeah. Yes, I've remembered thing. Be proud of me. This doesn't happen often. Okay, so that's just oceanic again. So far, not seeing anything that I would need, like, any of those special lines for, which is kind of disappointing. I was hoping with all these weird, like, trees around that kind of look like palm trees that maybe this would be a mangrove area, but not feeling like it is. Don't, why do you, why did I do that? Why did I fucking full tilt ahead just slam my face into that? I'm stupid. Specimens. I got all of them. Take this octopus and you know what? Oh. Well, yeah, because it's in the net, I think it'll stay fresh. So I'm actually going to take out the stale one. Sorry, you get a stale one for your vitally important research. My money is more important. Thank you. Looks like you've got all the surface specimens I need. But, uh, yes, I do also need some from deeper down, but that's going to be a problem. Don't have the equipment to catch anything deeper anyway. That is true. Why is that a problem? I developed a device to retrieve samples from the abyssal zone. This is over the research outpost before the attack. I have an idea of how to keep the crew trip bay long enough to collect these samples, but while I work on that, I need you to retrieve some. I was just fucking there. Prototype parts. Carefully. I suggest you go during the day. I wouldn't want to be out on the reef at night. Uh, that's my job. So, I will be. But yeah, because I do believe that if you keep fish in your net, they don't seem to rot or go stale, or at least if they do, maybe it's slower. Like, that's just been what I've observed. Uh -oh, are you an altar? Or are you just more insanity stone? More insanity stone. I don't know. I want an altar. I want another fucked up crab pot. Is that too much to ask for? Stop high. Yeah, this is another shallow water fish. So yeah, so far, not really seeing why I, I don't go for that. You know, so at least it's not killing all the fish in the area. Because there are still fish around. Is this fine? Or is this too close to you? For your comfort and mine. Okay. And then it's abyssal, so it's just like, you know. I bet there is more stuff I can bridge around here, though. Lab. Where do you want to look? Table. Find the prototype parts that the researcher needs. Stow the prototype parts on board. Got everything. It would be so fucked up if things changed because I've been here before. Looks like there's something over... Yonder Is that another... Nope, nothing. I'm making it up. Don't fucking slam into the goddamn island. God. Good thing I'm already going back to the fucking Starlight Pontoon thingy. 
Ah, oh, but it's all the way over there. So far away. I'm not even going in the correct direction. Because I'm stupid. Also, maybe I shouldn't be going around at such high speeds when I haven't upped my brightness. I really need, like, a reminder before I play this game. Everything looks so pretty here. I think I haven't noticed mostly in this area the fact that I've forgotten to up my brightness because it is so... Like, everything glows. Ooh. Hiya. Buy my fish. Got some friends for you. I also need you to fix up my ship again. Oh. Got a little moment with supply rep repair materials, you know? Fuck you, ma'am. We both know you do. Right? <laughs> if they do run out, that would, um... Well, that would just suck. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you dare deploy my Mouth of the Deep here. Mouth of the Deep? is the one that goes at the deepest depths. Depth, depths. Pick up. All right, if I'm gonna be dropping the mouth of the deep, it's gonna be in deeper water. You know what, maybe I shouldn't go too deep. I don't know what that was. I don't think I wanna know, frankly. I don't know what that white stuff is. Parhelion jellyfish. Is that a is that a new kind or is that an aberration? Hmm. Aberration. Two spires of light shine from within its hood. Stinging spike tentacles trail below. Interesting. Love that for you. <laughs> Alright. will say, very glad that this is, uh, it, it really seems like this is going much faster than, uh, than it did at the other place, because I don't have a giant sea serpent following my every movement. Also, I think it's probably been a long enough episode. Yeah, okay, so what I'll do is I'll get back to the old fortress, I'll see what the plan is, and then I'm going to end the episode there. Yeah, I'm not going to risk Blood Snapper. Okay, now I can tell that one, that ain't right. I wonder if the shaking last night was because I was too close to the edge of the basin. Does that sound like me? Citrine ring? ring? Alright. There also seems to be a lot of dredging materials about. I'm also, I'm looking for fucked up fish, specifically. Because as always, they, they, do, they do make me more money. And money's the only way that I can afford new things. Like that Perhelion jellyfish, I, I believe the regular jellyfish was like, what, nine dollars? That one was 25. Like, that's an insane unhinged price increase. Those look like normal fish. Are you a bunch of normies? wanted to see what you were. Yeah, I know what you are. Uh, oh. Jeez, I'm going the wrong way. Let's go to the old fort. Hello. Okay. Get 
all of you out of my inventory. All right, researcher, what do you got for me? Oh, hello again, and the project dark parts. Excellent, let me assemble a device for you. This should allow you to catch specimens from much greater depths. It's a little slow, but you might be able to make some improvements. Oh, okay. Um, it's a threefer. Custom design from the researcher. It's inefficient, but should allow me to harvest some samples from the depths. Okay. Yep, and it goes in a rod space, which means I can't use my flexible rod while I'm doing it. <coughs> All right. Now, I've developed a repulsion machine that produces a bright light and emits a high-pitched noise. Should deter the creature from attacking. Boring nature, I'm not sure. Connect it to the research outpost generator. You have to return and re-engage it every few hours, but other than that, it's completely automated. Complicated looking piece of equipment with lights and a loudspeaker. Not quite sure which way it should be facing. <laughs> Needs to be attached to a generator. Okay, great. Now take a look at this list of specimens. Remember, want to install and activate the machine before attempting to collect those. Plus I need to improve the equipment that I give you. I can turn this into that thing, can't I? The abyssal thing. Okay, snailfish, it's just a dude. Uh, loose jaw, giant amphipod, I want one of those, and anglerfish. Okay, so, hadal, abyssal, the hadal, abyssal, okay. And I can only catch abyssal with this, so. Is there anything else? All right. She did suggest I do it during the day, so that's what I'm going to do. But uh, that'll be the end of this episode of... Uh... <sighs> oh. Nice. Oh, it takes me so long to panic. That's a good one. Uh, yeah, I guess this will be the end of this episode. I'm keeping those spectacles, by the way. Because uh, I think they might be... Oh, I didn't even look this. Blood leaks endlessly from under its scales, pulling beneath it no matter where it's placed. Oof, that's rough. I wish... I do kind of wish that if I had moved it, this area would have stayed bloody, but anyways. Um, that looks like a quest item. That looks like the, the bronze belt buckle thing. Like, it's just so random to be fished up. Maybe I'm wrong, and I'll just end up selling it later, but for now... Um, but anyways, yeah, tomorrow, Cassette Beast launch. Uh, this episode will be going out that day as well, so... You'll be getting two for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more of this and Cassette Beast and everything else I'm working on, uh, I put out episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. I'll probably be speedrunning, finishing this, and Pokemon Scarlet Violet now that I feel well enough to actually do the setup <laughs> for that, because it's a bit of work. Um, but yeah, I will uh, see you in the next one. <laughs>